Well, the meeting, inshallah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon for all. Welcome. And now we will introduce our guest speaker, whose name is Dr. Noor Jarboua. Uh, she is a Palestinian speaker, and she has a lot of achievements. I will mention some of them. First of all, uh, she is a trainer of teacher, teachers on utilizing critical thinking and teaching in West Khan Yunus, Onorwa, and she is also a trainer of teachers on implementing uh, action research in education. She is also a leader of the, liter the Literary Club and English Club in Khan Yunus, Palestine. She is also a trainer of teachers from Gaza on how to use digital tools. Uh, she is leading many initiatives uh, and also she is the top uh, ranked student at the English department and she won the first place in many competitions and she has a lot of achievements as I said at the beginning. Welcome Dr. Noor for this session and I hope uh, that our team will get benefits from it uh, about utilizing critical thinking as a 21st century skill. Welcome all for all our attendees from all over the world. Thank you, Dr. Noor, and now you can start your presentation. Thanks a lot. Uh, first of all, uh, Eid Adha Mubarak, wish all of you a happy and blessed Eid and many happy returns, wish you a very uh, blessed days, inshallah. Uh, welcome to all of you, uh, my attendees, uh, our educators and teachers from uh, so many countries. Thanks uh, for um, the Arab English Teachers Association and thanks a lot for uh, Mrs. Shawqiya Hawawra for giving me this chance to be a speaker today. Uh, and inshallah, we are going to talk about implementing critical thinking in teaching English language, how to utilize critical thinking in teaching English language. Uh, our session objectives, uh, we're going to identify critical thinking skills and sub-skills, clarify the importance of higher all order thinking skills, and to explore teaching strategies to promote critical thinking skills, and finally suggest some prat practical activities that encourage critical thinking. And I uh, wish from all of you to participate and to have uh, an active session. Uh, so what about starting uh, with a simple activity uh, for, uh, breaking, for breaking the ice? It's called find someone who. And uh, briefly, I'm going to give you some uh, questions and if it is applied to you, just say uh, yes uh, with your name. For example, who can speak more than two languages? Is my voice clear? So, yes, yes. So Dr. Noor asks you to write if it, if it is yes or no, if you know more than two languages. For example, I can write no and my name Shawqiya or Shawqiya no. Someone will write, for example, his or her name. Well, yes, beside it. Is it clear now? Just write uh, in the chat box. Please write in the chat box. If, yeah, if you can speak more than two languages with your name. If yes, mention the languages just to know each other yes yes uh, uh, mr mubarak says yes mr al hassan yes miss wala says no miss amara uh, yes. or uh, mr maybe of course of course what say just yes or no 
Yes. Thanks a lot. Uh, another, yes, another. Yeah, okay. that's great. Uh, Mr. Another Al question. Yes, Arabic, French, and English. Great, Mr. Al Hassan. Yes, Mr. Yeah, Mubarak good. says yes. Mubarak okay. Ali from India. He knows English, Tamil, Malayam, Hind. And uh, Amara says Arabic and English. Great. Thanks a lot. This is so impressive. Uh, I, now, I, I, for example, I myself know, know just two languages, Arabic and English. Some, some yes. French, but not as uh, others. Yes, the same here. I know English and Arabic. Uh, English is my mother tongue and Arabic, uh, uh, Arabic is my mother tongue and English is my second language. Uh, now, who has yeah. Uh, or yeah, who has her or his birthday in uh, July in this month? Yeah, just if it is yes, right? Yes, with your name. Yes, my daughter. Uh, my 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 daughter's birthday is on in this uh, month, July, for example. Nice. Yes. Yes. Now, do you, ha do you Noor, have any answer? Yeah. Yes. Dr. Noor asks you if your birthday is in July, right here. Mr. Al Hassan says no, January. She wants if it is in July. Yes. No one? Amara says March. No one, July? Miss Wala, May. No one in July? Really? <laughs> Anybody? It seems no one in July. <laughs> now another question. Who has been working for more than 15 years as a teacher or as an educator for more than 15 years? Me, I have been teaching for about 28 years, for example. Oh. This is, yeah, this is the first answer from Mrs. Chautia. Great. Miss Noel says uh, me, Noel, more than 15. Uh, Amara, 10. Uh, Mr. Al Hassan, uh, yes, more than 35 years. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Uh, Miss Noel says, Noel Abu Sheikh uh, from Palestine says uh, 21 years. Uh, Miss Wala, seven, uh, about uh, eight years at university, uh, two years at um, the Ministry of Education. Thanks a lot. Wish them a uh, pleased health and uh, pleased work. Now, uh, the last, the last uh, question, who doesn't have a Facebook account? Who doesn't really? have a Facebook account? Yeah, you can find <laughs> yeah. some people don't have. Does anybody uh, or doesn't anybody have a Facebook account? It seems to me that all of us have uh, Facebook accounts. Uh, really? Amara. Yeah. Yes. Amara, yes. Yes, so we have yes. one person he here. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, doesn't have a Facebook account, Amara. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So the, this was uh, yeah. a, a very yes. yes. I have cat. Yes, I have cat Amara. So this is a very uh, simple and interactive icebreaker. Uh, you can just use it for a group building, for knowing each other. Uh, they can play it in groups, and uh, the first one who uh, finishes all the questions, they can say bingo and be the winner. Uh, so this is a great one for know, uh, knowing each other. Let's uh, go to the uh, to our topic uh, and they start by a saying: When thinking becomes visible, it's clear to students that the school is not about memorizing facts, but about exploring ideas. So we often give children answers to remember rather than problems to solve. Some teachers give the students 
uh, the answers, the infor the uh, made uh, re the ready made information, but they don't give them the chance or the adequate chance to solve the problems and search for the answers by themselves. So it must be remembered that uh, the purpose of education is not to fill the minds of the students with facts, it's to teach them to think, to teach them to solve the problems and to create new things, to analyze information, to evaluate situations, to infer information by themselves. In this age of technology, they need to think uh, about information and test hypotheses, assess everything they uh, see or hear before, before uh, taking these, uh, this information. So I'm going to ask you a very important question. What are our children learning today at our schools? What are they learning? Do you think that the curricula prepare them for life after school? Do you think that the curricula in your country prepare uh, the students for life, for future? This is the first question. Just prepare your answers and write in the chat or raise your hand for speaking. Yes. Yes. Do you think that the curricula, uh, and we are focusing on a language curricula? Uh, or uh, in general, curricula in general. Do you think the curricula prepare our students for life, our education in schools, prepare them for life after school, for future, for work, for jobs, for uh, to to uh, to be um, leaders? Yes, Miss Noel. Miss Noel, yes. answer this question No, no, she says no. Uh, Amara says life concern. Uh, I, for example, I can add uh, no. Uh, in fact, our curricula uh, doesn't prepare our students for life after uh, school. Uh, maybe uh, for the British ones, for the foreigners, maybe uh, because uh, the uh, the students prepare themselves uh, for work just after uh, uh, being uh, 18 years uh, because nobody will be responsible for their life, for their earning, for their uh, university education, etc. But for us as uh, Arab uh, students, uh, no, uh, just uh, they read the curricula, they uh, learn at universities for just to earn money, to earn life, for example. Yes, if anybody from the uh, the audience want to uh, add something and well, speak and out, as educators, can, uh, if we want to prepare them. Yes, sorry. Yes. Yes, uh, Mr. Al Hassan adds no, they need more practice. Amara adds uh, deal with topic or themes as education, life concerns, inventions, art shows, and holidays. Uh, and uh, there are no other answers. Yes, it is so from your answers, uh, it is noted that the teaching of thinking skills is not well treated or yes. uh, rather sometimes neglected from our uh, curricula. Uh, this may be resulted from many reasons as the lack of experience among teachers or the overload of curriculum. Uh, it is uh, crammed of information, just knowledge to memorize uh, or the yes. time allotted doesn't allow for more questions or experiencing or critical activities. Uh, students must learn by doing, by experiencing things, not by memorizing uh, information. 
So we have many uh, uh, challenges when teaching thinking skills, and this is the reason I chose this topic for today's session, because uh, we face, as teachers of English, we face many challenges, and uh, I think also parents uh, face the same challenges when teaching English language. Uh, the reason, the challenges, for example, teaching methods employed sometimes doesn't it uh, don't enhance thinking skills. Uh, sometimes the uh, uh, the procedures are, are ineffective. Uh, they fail to support or reinforce the development of hot high, higher order thinking skills. And uh, educational policies emphasize uh, standardized uh, tests. Uh, and uh, the culture of the school sometimes doesn't support the teaching of thinking skills. And I think lack of motivation from, uh, um, from the teachers or the students uh, sometimes affect the uh, using of uh, thinking skills. So teachers have a great, uh, greater role in creating lessons that enhance thinking skills. And learners should show positive attitudes. If teachers show positive attitudes, learners, of course, will show positive attitudes. Uh, so I think it is a culture. It is a culture and it is uh, uh, an issue of time and tests also. The, the system and the standards of tests in the uh, country affects the uh, teaching of thinking skills. Do you have other uh, challenges when uh, teaching thinking skills? Yes, uh, you mentioned many challenges. Uh, in reality, we face them as educators while teaching English. As you know, English is uh, not uh, their mother tongue, and they uh, suffer a lot while learning it. And we as educators uh, uh, should uh, treat them or should create motivating and engaging applications, for example, strategies, techniques, in order to engage our students in the teaching learning process. For example, if we want to motivate them, we can change our techniques. For example, if I teach them with such a technique and I see that uh, their results are not uh, good, They're, they are weak, so I can change them by the motivating one in order to be or to upgrade their competence and understanding. Thank you. Yes, of course. And you, you notice that the uh, parents and the students, they come to school with uh, a, an image about English that it is a very uh, hard and difficult uh, language. It is um, a very hard topic and they, they couldn't and they can't just uh, try, try hard to learn this language. And if teachers use uh, some techniques and the strategies for enhancing these skills, they can, they can, yes, uh, manage and they can succeed. Now let's go to thinking skills. When you hear the word thinking, sorry, sorry, what comes Sorry for interruption, Dr. Noor. Yes, yes. Uh, may yes. I add to hear some uh, suggestions from the chat box? Ms. Noel adds the curricula is not suitable. Uh, I, I guess that she means the curriculum is a British one, for example, in Palestine here at our schools. So it suits the British ones, the native speakers of English, because uh, and as a result, we are suffering with our students. She means that. Uh, Amara says. Yes. Uh, and Mr. Al Hassan says they, uh, they students, the students look for the short ways to have good marks. For instance, instead of reading a novel, they prefer the summary. Yes, you are right, Mr. Al Hassan. 
Thank you. Miss Wala, yes. you can speak. Yeah. Miss Wala. Yeah. Wala. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, Miss Wala. Thank you. Uh, first, thank you very much for this webinar. It's very useful. Everything you have mentioned is 100% correct. Yes, I suffer all of the things you have mentioned. Uh, but I have something to say. Uh, regarding the curricula, I believe that it's uh, powerful enough to enable our students um, be strong for the uh, workplace. Uh, right now, I'm teaching first and second grades. The first grade is full of information. For example, you can find the tenses is when to use, is when to use, or they can use, for example, the articles uh, and the and without article. They can differentiate between singular and the plural nouns. They can use the present symbol using the as only. So all of this, inf this information is in the first grade. What about the other grades? In the second grade, they know how to form questions and how to form answers, how to use the present yeah. symbol fluently. We use she likes, he likes, they like. So how to introduce themselves in a correct way, in a powerful way. They can introduce themselves fully. So the curricula is full of information, but we need teachers to give the curricula in the good way. Uh, when I started teaching, many people said, OK, uh, this is not the good way to teach English. Till the fourth grade, students don't have notebooks. But with me, they had the notebooks. For one semester, my students use six notebooks, for example, in one semester. Uh, after that, many people said, OK, this is the best way to teach English. This is for my students. As for parents, yes, we face a lot of problems with parents. They are not, uh, uh, they are not good enough at speaking English or at using English. They don't know English. They are not good educators of English. So I used another way, which is to teach parents with their kids. For example, I send all the material I want to teach for my students, for the parents. I tell them the methodology when we use teams the last year. And this year, um, many people said, OK, we will use your strategy and your methodology with teaching our children. So using technology and teams helped us a lot, communicating with people. This is the first thing. The second thing is that motivating people Parents mainly before students is a good way for elementary level. So um, to make our students powerful enough using English, we need to enable them use English since the first grade. If teachers are um, powerful enough or are motivating enough to teach their children in the first and second grades, and other teachers continue with them till the uh, grade, we will have excellent students with excellent language. This is my of point. Course. And to see the results, Thanks. my students, I have a page for them where students can speak English fluently. They can speak, they can write, they have dictionaries, picture dictionary for them. In the summer yeah. right now, I continue with them, first and second students only. Um, in the summer now, we have different programs. Uh, we use reading, writing, dictation, all of them during the summer to make them uh, motivated to continue uh, English. And the best thing is that they love English. This is the best thing I like. Parents and students love English. So this is... A, one of the barriers we have, which is fearing from English, but now because they love English, thanks God, um, they are successful. Okay, that's my point. Thank you. Yes. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Wala. Uh, you are one hundred percent right, uh, and uh, I, I have the same problem. I am teaching the eighth grade, and they some of them don't have the uh, fundamental information
for progressing and for uh, studying. Why? Because uh, the students are studying about the language, not how to use the language. We uh, try to teach our students how to use the language, not uh, just uh, information about the language, about uh, tenses uh, to just memorize, no. So uh, teachers have a great load uh, to, to work and to do their best to enrich the curricula and to enhance uh, the material, to use uh, videos, uh, enrich materi uh, enrichment materials, to use uh, interactive games and stories, uh, active learning strategies to raise uh, the students' mo motivation. Uh, and thanks for technology for yeah we have now a lot of digital games a lot of uh, videos for using in teaching to make the teaching process uh, more uh, interactive and interesting now let's now let's go to thinking skills when you hear the word thinking what comes to your mind just write in the chat box uh, uh, words or phrases about thinking skills and try to connect thinking skills with education. When we say we want teach thinking skills for students, so what what do we need to uh, teach for students? Write uh, words or phrases in the chat box. Yes, Ms. Wale, as students study the language exam, they just want high marks. Yes, it is a reality, Ms. Wale. You are right. Yes, uh, Amara adds imagination. Uh, yes. Yeah, great. Imagine. They, yes, they need to imagine. Yes. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. to think maybe mm -hmm. uh, here uh, Alia has to act and uh, to understand to solve a problem. Uh, Mr. Mohammed has encouraged students to be reflective. Nice. Uh, Al Hassan has to give the students the opportunity to think, to solve it, and to find mm -hmm. solutions. Uh, Thanks. Questions. It yeah. means maybe to find or to solve the problem. Uh, Amar adds, ask questions uh, beginning with WH questions, which means open questions, not a yes, no question. Uh, begins with why, where, how, etc. Yes, nice. Yeah, very nice uh, answers, uh, and they are in to the point. Thinking skills uh, include all the uh, phrases you have just written using imagination to fly high to catch any possible chance uh, chances yes i like this answer create utilize uh, apply analyze very nice uh, answers yes thinking skills are mental processes as making connections yes going back to the presentation Yes. Mental uh, activities or processes as making connection. Making is to teach uh, students to make connections between information, make sense of experience, and ask questions, as you mentioned. We need to teach students to ask questions, not to just uh, 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 and just take the answers or the ready-made information, make hypotheses, analyze, evaluate, uh, uh, organize information, and all of these processes for what? For solving a problem, for making decision, for creating new ideas. You use your thinking skills when you in everything in your life. Every time we are using our thinking skills, when we are trying to understand experiences, when we are trying to solve problems, uh, making plans, organizing information. So we need thinking skills for our, uh, our uh, lives. And, uh, and they are important for preparing our students for uh, our lives. And of course, when we say thinking skills, we 
uh, need to mention Bloom's taxonomy because Bloom's taxonomy is uh, related and interrelated with the thinking skills. It, uh, as you see in this taxonomy, it includes six major categories, remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. It's noticeable that uh, categories start from simple ones. The simple ones, I mean a uh, lot lower order thinking skills. Uh, moving to more complex ones, as you see, the higher order thinking skills. Which, um, uh, which implies that one cannot master the higher levels before mastering the lower ones. So we need, yes, we need to start with the lower ones, but we don't need, we don't have to neglect or, uh, uh, or uh, neglect the HOTS, the higher order thinking skills. And uh, yes, critical thinking is interrelated with HOTS a lot. When we say uh, critical thinking, you need to remember a uh, higher order thinking skills. So students need to apply and use information in a new situation, in a new situations, and taking apart uh, the known and, and identify relations between pieces of information. And this means that to analyze, uh, then uh, to evaluate, I mean to examine information and make judgments and then uh, use information to create something in you. And this is the, uh, the higher uh, scale creation. So when we say a critical thinking, we, re we need to relate critical thinking to Bloom's taxonomy, especially the higher order thinking skills, the HOTS. And now we have this, uh, word cloud. We have many words. Can you see the words? Can you see the words? Yes, many are visible. The first is yes. critical thinking. Yes. yes, just Method. please. Thought. Yeah, try, try to connect. Try to connect between. Uh, any word you can see, just to make a very brief and simple defi definition of a critical thinking. And send uh, to the chat or raise your hand to speak. We need to make uh, our own definition of a critical thinking just to understand what are critical thinking skills in a very simple way. We don't make to, uh, we don't need to make things harder. No, we need to make things uh, more simple. Can you just uh, make a simple definition, uh, a brief definition from these words, from these words? We have many words here. We have judgment, process, clearly, thought, true, evidence. We have relevant, we have logical, we have questions, disciplines, information, use, conclusions, interpret, mind I engineer, ideas. Yes. Uh, yeah, do we have answers? Maybe to clarify. Yes, logical, uh, maybe to clarify some educational issues in a logical way, especially, for example, concerning science and uh, some other uh, topics. Uh, maybe also uh, the word reflective is uh, uh, concerned with the critical thinking, as we as educators should uh, encourage uh, 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 this uh, method, which is making reflection. For example, after each lesson, I ask uh, not each lesson, some lessons uh, during the week, 
I uh, ask uh, my students to make reflection on the lesson. What are the positive uh, uh, points? What are the negative ones? The weaknesses, the strengths. Uh, for example, in order to encourage them to be leaders, to speak fluently, uh, to uh, have self-confidence. For, for example, uh, in order to engage them in the teaching learning process. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Do we have other answers uh, in the chat box? Yes, uh, Ms. Wala says the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to uh, from a judgment. Uh, Amara says reason, proof. Uh, Ahmed says evidence that leads to, con to correct thinking. Zuhrab uh, says informative. Uh, also, Amara says informative. Uh, Sanfi San says along with rubrics can, uh, can to be analyzed. He says about the rubrics. Uh, Mr. Mohammed moving from simple and lower to high and complex and many others. Uh, Miss Naila, welcome. Uh, Aliya says to think without any a prejudging the situation to find a solution. Yes. Very nice answers. Thanks for all of you. So critical thinking is a purposeful and uh, self-regulatory uh, judgment which results in interpretation, analysis, evaluation, and inference, as well explanation of the evidential conceptual uh, considerations upon which that judgment is based. So we have interpretation, analysis, evaluation, inference, and uh, explanation. Uh, critical thinking is uh, the discipline, the process for actively and skillfully conceptualizing, uh, conceptualizing and applying and analyzing uh, and evaluating information gathered from or generated by observation experience. So we have information, we have observation and experience for the students and they have to reflect on the uh, on the experience or the information gathered by observation or by communication with people with teacher with the stu with the students uh, and then what do they need to uh, do with the, the information do they uh, impart the information and stop no they need to uh, uh, analyze the information evaluate the inform uh, information, judge, uh, and then apply and evaluate the information. This is critical thinking. Uh, do we need to teach or enhance a critical thinking? Yes, of course. We are living in the age of technology, uh, in the age of uh, uh, the uh, knowledge explosion uh, each uh, second we have a new information and knowledge in this uh, world and the students uh, come through a lot of uh, content videos information posts uh, a lot of content so they need to think about the information they uh, come through they need to uh understand them in a deep way so do we need to teach uh, the, these skills yes and uh, why why should we teach the uh, critical thinking skills uh, because uh, simply they are leading to deeper understanding when students uh when students think uh, and uh, uh, analyze, evaluate, interpret, and uh, infer information, explain information, they will understand things uh, more uh, clearly. Uh, and uh, this enables students, uh, this enables the students to uh, transform uh, learning to their lives, to uh, transform learning to real uh, situations and to real uh, the real problems they face in their uh, real uh, life and uh, world. 
also critical thinking empowers our students to be independent uh, learners, to be innovative. Uh, we, need, we don't uh, need copy, we don't need more copy uh, cats. I mean, the same students with the same thinking, with the same mindsets. No, we need the creators, we need innovators. Uh, because critical thinking helps them to, to succeed in their schools and in their lives and provides the them the opportunities to take uh, charge of their learning and of their problems when they go to the world, to the work uh, war, war, to uh, communication with people, they need the critical uh, thinking. Uh, do you have other reasons why do we need to teach critical thinking in classrooms? As I said, we are uh, living in the 22nd century classrooms. The students must learn to value, evaluate information and be creative and innovative in their problem solving. And we need to teach our students for the future, not for just the present, uh, not for the current uh, time. We need to prepare them for the future. Every day we have a new information, a new knowledge, new jobs also. What do you think? Do you have other reasons? Why do we need to uh, teach critical thinking and to enrich our curricula with the critical thinking skills as interpretation, analysis, evaluation, inference, explanation. Do you have answers? Yes, please. Uh, Dr. Noor says, why should we teach our students critical uh, thinking? Is it important? Yes. And why is it important? Yes. Yes, yes we have I see that we have here some great answers in the chat box. Yes. We have yes, a critical them. thinking. Yeah, yes. critical thinking. This is from Zohrab, uh, Mr. Zohrab. Yes, critical thinking are too useful. It goes uh, effective learning makes students understand deeply, of course. Help yeah. students to keep up with the ch changes and the challenges. Yeah, every day we have changes in this world and the challenge is facing them with the global digital world in order to be creative and good communicators. Of course, thanks a lot for this answer. Amara says to be innovative, creative, yes. El Hassan says uh, to build their personal and social, uh, social life, thanks a lot. Ali, uh, Aliya says uh, they learn functionality but don't know how to apply. So critical thinking teach application, of course, we need them to use information they uh, learn at the school they need uh, they want them uh, use them uh, in their life practice the information the knowledge they learn uh, at the school yeah this is our purpose from ed education in general yes now now let's go to core critical thinking skills as i mentioned we have six sub skills analysis interpretation self-regulation, inference, explanation, evaluation. Let's, just, let's start by interpretation. And interpretation means to comprehend, to express meaning <coughs> of situations, of events, rules. Now, uh, when I, this is the first skill, sub-skill of a critical thinking, uh, please think with me, what are the uh, the strategies or uh, techniques we can use to enhance this sub skill for example interpretation what activities you can uh, use with your students to enhance interpretation when you uh, ask students to comprehend uh, meaning of situations or data or even events do you have any activity or strategy enhances this uh, sub skill interpretation? For, exa for example, when we have uh, some uh, words to cat categorize or classify into uh, two or three categories, this is interpretation. When we ask students to discuss uh, a topic, 
for example, about uh, about technology, about the uh, advantages and disadvantages of technology. Uh, this is interpretation. When I ask students to clarify the meaning of uh, this topic or this picture or this word or this sentence, this is interpretation. If you have uh, other activities or strategies or questions, just try it in the chat box. This, uh, yeah, Wala says, Mrs. Wala says, describe a diagram, graph, map, excellent. Yes. Yes. When we, uh, when we display, as uh, Mrs. Wala says, uh, when we display for students a map or a picture and ask them to clarify and say, and say, what can you see? What is, think about this picture. What can you see behind this picture? Why is this uh, happening? This is interpretation. Yes, uh, now the second uh, subscale is analysis and analysis means uh, dissimulation, disjoining parts. It is to uh, identify the intended and actual in uh, infer inferential relationships among statements, uh, questions, concepts uh, to express reasons and information. Uh, so analysis briefly, it is to disjoin parts of a situation or a statements or a opinions. It is to disjoin things into smaller parts. For example, when we ask students to uh, put words in the right places in the mind maps, using mind maps, it is analysis. When we use free maps, it is analysis. Uh, when we use also modeling, for example, and writing skills. When, when we are teaching writing, for example, today we have to write, to teach students to write a postcard or an email, and we give them a model. And we ask it to you, students, to dissimulate this uh, model into its smaller parts and elements, and then, Remodel this email or postcard to write a new one. This is analysis. So students here have to dissimulate the smaller parts of the uh, big image or the uh, model we give. Do you have other activities or uh, activities or uh, strategies for enhancing this skill? Are questions? Yes, doctor. Yes. Good yes. Afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. Good afternoon. Yes. I yes, agree it's with clear. what you said. Yes, I agree with what you have just said now, but perhaps we can add uh, some few words here. I think that analyzing is one of the most important hot skills that our students should be taught. In order to encourage them to be good creative communicators later on. So I yeah. suppose we can encourage them to practice a, a sort of comparison, comparing and contrasting, for example, between trees, between flowers, between even animals, between any reality yes. around them, in order to focus our attention and their attention as well to what is being said and discussed in the classroom. So this is a way to encourage our students to move on from just simple lower uh, hot skills hot skills into the higher ones. Yes, thank, so you. thank you. Thank you. Bro. Yes, thanks a lot. So uh, the when we ask students to write the differences and similarities to contrast between uh, two pictures or two situations, yeah, they need to analyze the bigger, the, the, the big image and give us the small uh, elements. Very nice. Now let's go to the third uh, subscale. It is evaluation. 
evaluation. It means to assess uh, the credibility of the statements or descriptions of a person's perception, uh, perceptions or opinions. So it is to assess the logical strength of the relationships among the statements. Uh, it is to assess credibility. Uh, for example, we ask students to uh, to evaluate uh, the situation. Uh, when we ask students to give their opinion of something, to judge uh, a situation, uh, uh, maybe a context. Uh, when we ask them to uh, role play uh, a situation, they need to evaluate. Uh, we have a strategy, it is called look, think, wonder. We uh, display a picture and ask students the first thing to uh, look at the picture and write what do they see, what they see. Then think, why, it, uh, why uh, is it like this? So the students uh, want to uh, evaluate and assess the, uh, the image. Then to wonder and ask questions about the image. So it is uh, also important uh, to uh, teach students and to ask students to ask questions. Yes, the, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, sorry for interruption. I use this yeah. uh, technique actually with my students and they love it very much, especially at the beginning of each unit. As you know, yeah. in our Palestinian curricula, there is a, a picture or more than one picture uh, as introduction yeah. and as uh, 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 in order to attract to the student's attention to the topic of the unit. Uh, so I write on the uh, whiteboard or the blackboard three columns. The first column begins with I can see, the second column I can think or I think, sorry, and the third one I wonder. Uh, each group of the students, uh, for example, I divide them into three groups, each class, then uh, one group says I see so and so, for example, about healthy food. I, I see here healthy and unhealthy food. Uh, the second group says, uh, says I think the healthy food is uh, more important than uh, the unhealthy food. Uh, their sentences like, I wonder why is why do people eat such unhealthy food? It is, yeah. for example, dangerous. It is fatal. It is unhealthy. It causes many illnesses yes, and so on. So it is a very helpful and unique strategy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, now we have uh, the sub skill of uh, critical thinking. It is inference. And uh, when we say inference, we remember deduction and induction. We, we think about reasoning. It is to identify elements needs to draw reasonable conclusions, to form hypotheses. <coughs> Sorry. And we use this a lot in teaching reading and grammar. We, uh, we give students uh, the examples and we ask them to uh, go step by step to reach the rule, uh, to reach the information by themselves. Uh, so uh, it is to assess credibility of the claims. It is to assess the quality of arguments using uh, inductive and deductive reasoning. Uh, moving from uh, examples to rule or from the rule to examples from students. And this is uh, as we said, a very important thing in teaching. Uh, we need the students to uh, reach information by themselves, not to feed them the information. Uh, and you know, problem solving is one of the most uh, uh, effective strategies for inference. Problem solving, decision making, uh, the five easy strategies, and uh, here the five E's uh, strategy. It is, we have five E's. The first one, engage students. This is a, a way of teaching, engaging students. Students are engaged with a challenging situation. Uh, we give them uh, 
questions or uh, a, a, sim a simple game to just uh, engage them uh, and uh, activate their prayer knowledge. This is the first stage, then explore. So we have engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate. Explore, the students investigate the uh, prayer knowledge it is challenged and ideas here are created. So we give the uh, here the new information, the new lesson, then explain, we, students here explain uh, the new knowledge and apply the new knowledge. Then elaborate, they apply their knowledge towards new situations. Knowledge is deepened here and extended. Uh, in the last stage, evaluate, students reflect uh, on their knowledge and the learning process uh, this is the uh, process of assessment. So this is uh, called five E's. Five E's. Uh, is the uh, presentation clear, Mrs. Shaqiya? It is not moving, I think. Yes, sorry. I will move it. Now, yes. Now we yes. have explanation. Explanation. It is. Uh, it's clear that explanation is to justify the results. <clears throat> it is to state the results of one's reasoning. Uh, it is to for students to clarify, justify, to give them the opportunity to explain to uh, ask questions, to present arguments, to justify procedures. For example, when we have the uh, passive, when we teach students passive, and at the end of the uh, uh, controlled uh, practice, we ask them to uh, uh, move uh, sentences from active into passive. How do we uh, make sure that students understand this rule? we can ask them to explain, to justify the procedures they use to uh, move from active to passive. And in any rule, we need to make, to, to, we need to make sure that students uh, understand the rule by explanation. Students should uh, stand in front of all the uh, class and expl explain, and justify, clarify the uh, procedures, uh, the results they have uh, come into. When we uh, make debates, for example, uh, examples, uh, activ activities or strategies for this uh, subscale, for example, debates, seminars, presentations. Uh, presentations are a great way for uh, critical thinking. When we uh, make students uh, come uh, in front of the class and speak and present their ideas and opinions. This is a very great way for uh, utilizing critical thinking. The, the last sub skill here, it is uh, reflection. Yeah, it is reflection or self-regulation. Self-regulation. Self-regulation is self-awareness to monitor one's cognitive activities. Uh, it is to self-monitor and to self-correct. When we, we ask students to correct their, uh, their uh, mistakes or self-assess their writings, self-reflect on their uh, performance, the, the, this is a great way to uh, make students aware of their learning, of their uh, thinking skills. Uh, do you know the uh, strategy of KWL? Who knows the uh, words of Yes, KWL strategy. Yes. Who knows this uh, great uh, strategy? Mia. Yes, yeah. no. Yes, no yes. one. What no, we know exactly. Learned. What we know. 
Yes. yes same. Sorry, please. Can you repeat? Can you repeat your answer? <laughs> Hello. Yes. 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 Hi, yes we repeat we your hear. answer. Yes. Repeat your answer, please. Uh, uh, what is for it? for K? For K, we know what exactly we know. Yes. What the students that are, are currently doing. Yes. And then yes. Yeah. This is what, what, Yes. What is he going to to learn in the future? Yes. Yes. What what uh, they want to learn? Yeah. Yes. And L. Yes. Learn. Miss Walla says I want to learn. Then learn. And Santi says, right. Dr. Mutia says, know what uh, to know, learn. Uh, Mr. Muhammad, no wonder, learn. Uh, K, uh, you answered K, no. Uh, w, want to know, and L, learn. So they answered perfectly. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your great answers, yes. K, it is for what the students know about the topic. W, it is what the students want to know, what they want to know about the topic. And finally, L, it is what they have learned from this uh, today's uh, lesson. Uh, for example, if we are talking about a city, uh, uh, for example, we have a Palestinian city, uh, Jericho. We are we have a reading uh, text about it at the start of the lesson. We uh, display a diagram, a chart into three columns and we ask students to write individually in pairs or in groups about what they know about this city, about Jericho, uh, then what they want to know. Uh, they ask questions about the city and they, they, uh, they uh, write information they wish to know about this city. At the end of the lesson, we ask students uh, to write about uh, things they have learned about this uh, city. And uh, we, ha I have used this uh, uh, strategy many times, and it is great. It is uh, self-regulation, self-awareness. Uh, students can monitor. Uh, their cognitive uh, uh, thinking and the activities. Yeah, this is uh, the last sub skill of thinking skills. Now, uh, can you move uh, back? M m can you, yeah, move to the practical, Mrs. Chowkia, to the practical uh, strategies? Yeah, these are the teaching strategies to promote. Here. No, no. The previous one or the following one? No, no, the next, uh, I mean the next slides. The next slides. Fair work, classify. Yes, this one. Practice, practical activities. Yeah, yeah. Yes, now we have some practical activities we can use inside our classrooms. They are simple, they are interactive, uh, they are uh, 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 they are uh, interesting, uh, and you can organize and manage these activities uh, easily if you are a qualified teacher. Uh, and at the same time, you can enhance critical thinking skills by using these great activities. For example, we have warming up activities, as we say, the activity we have mentioned before, describe, interpret, evaluate. We can display a picture uh, at, the, uh, at the start of the session, at the start of le the lesson, uh, and ask students to uh, uh, to say what they see, to think about the picture, and at the end they say, uh, they ask questions about the picture. And in each activity, I'm going to ask you what are the sub skills uh, that could be enhanced by using these activities. For example, this one, it enhances evaluation. 
Okay. Yes. Move. Yes. The, the next one, the next uh, activity. And please think about these activities and how can you uh, utilize them and apply them into your lessons? Because at the end of this session, I want you to give me uh, just uh, one uh, practical activity that you can you can use in your lessons to enhance critical thinking now we have this uh, word picture puzzle uh, the, the we have uh, many word picture puzzles and you can choose one or two and uh, display them uh, into your students and ask them to say what can they see what sentences or phrases they can uh, make from these puzzles and uh, this enhances interpretation and analysis of course the next one we have some pictures yes the next slide we have we can yes mrs shawkriya yes we have thanks a lot we have here as you see a, a picture for example uh, in the seventh grade in our <coughs> Yeah, in our education, we have in our textbook uh, a, a, whole, a whole unit about uh, animals, about animal magic. So at the start of the unit, we can display this picture and ask students, how many animals can you see? What are the animals that uh, could you see here? So they think, they analyze the picture and they think and move their uh, minds uh, and maybe we can uh, start by this uh, square and ask them how many squares are there this is for interpretation and for analysis just a warming up activity uh, make them active make them more innovative and thinkers now the next one we have for reading the next one for reading lessons. This is great for reading lessons. We have thick and thin activities. We have thick and thin uh, ac uh, questions. The thin questions, uh, as we see, divergent and invergent questions. The invergent questions, uh, the, the questions we ask uh, a lot uh, as, when, where, what, who, how many, but the thick questions and we need to ask them more uh, as what if how would you feel if i wonder how did why did what would happen if what do you think you should ask the students about their opinions after reading a text after uh, acting a, a conversation ask the students about their thoughts and opinions this is good for interpretation and explanation the next one yeah the next one uh, we have a lot of the questions and we talked about the bloom taxonomy yes can you move to uh, let's play uh, charades Yes, Mrs. Chokia. Yes. Move, move. Let's play charades. Yes. Yes, yes I moved. Isn't yes, we have. Uh, yes, we have to ask uh, also uh, creative and challenging questions for students. And uh, uh, for example, imaginative questions as imagine you own a factory, imagine you own a one million dollar, what would you create and who would you uh, work with, sell it to? You need to make students uh, explore ideas, explain their ideas and feelings. Uh, this activity, let's play to it, it is uh, great for all of stages for the lower stages and for the higher stages. We have many 
uh, many orders and we can start by this one as uh, an icebreaker or, the, or a, a warming up activity. Uh, ask a student to uh, go out and uh, act one of these phrases uh, and ask the other students to guess what uh, the phrase is. This is also a great one. You have many here. Uh, many uh, orders or uh, uh, phrases to add to be acted. You can cut the the squares out and put them in container, and ask students to pick uh, any action they would uh, like to act out. Now we have uh, other fun riddle riddles. Riddles also don't uh, uh, forget that riddles. Uh, are great uh, way for uh, a critical thinking, for uh, enhancing and promoting thinking skills of your students. Uh, start by a riddle uh, to make your student uh, interactive, to uh, to grasp their attention. Yes, here just uh, a qu uh, look quickly to these activities. I I'm going to send you the. Uh, uh, the presentation to make use of these uh, activities in your classrooms. Yes, and also, yes, can you move the, uh, the, the slides, please? We have also for vocabulary. We have a lot of vocabulary activities that uh, promote critical thinking skills. Yes. Can you see the uh, vocabulary activities? Yes, it is visible. Isn't? Yes, I can see the charades. Well, um, the next slides we have, yeah. Yes, maybe uh, because of the internet. Yes, can you see yeah. if you see? I will stop sharing and then share it another time. OK, OK. No problem. I hope that it is now visible. Not yet, Not yes. Yet, yes. Now uh, the internet yes. access is so weak. Now it is visible, OK? Yes, the previous one, just the previous one. Yes. The previous slide. Yes, I put it, but wait a minute. Yes. Yeah, we have many uh, vocabulary activities. Uh, they are great for uh, and they are suitable for our uh, stages. Uh, word of the week. You can ask students to write the word, the part of speech, definition, synonym, antonym, sentence, uh, using this uh, new word. Uh, another activity, vocabulary, four squares. They can write the definition, write it in a sentence, draw a picture of the, uh, the word, the new word. This is also a great word, uh, great activity for analysis, for enhancing analysis. We have also uh, the next uh, game or activity. It, it is called Buggle. Uh, students can make uh, many uh, words from these letters. They can link the letters to make uh, words. And if they, were, if they must, uh, for example, write a three letter word, they have one point. If they have, for example, five letter words, they have three points. Uh, so this is very interactive and challenging for the students and they will like it a lot. Yes, the next one we have also. Other, yeah, you can see the other uh, activities. I'm going uh, to try now to send you this uh, presentation. Yes, because just of the. Uh, weak internet connection. Mrs. Shawkia cannot move the slides just. You can also, this is a great uh, activity and I use, uh, I use it with my students. 
secret code spelling. I uh, start, uh, sometimes I start. Yeah, secret code spelling, you will like it. Uh, you can give uh, the students some uh, codes and they are uh, codes or numbers and they uh, try to record these numbers into letters or codes into letters and make the word uh, the keyword you need and start your lesson and the students uh, like these uh, games a lot the next the next ones yes then i have uh, bought for you some reading uh, also some reading activities they can uh, write, uh, make a book talk uh, students can write about the character setting problem and solution. We have also role and retail. Yes, just move the slides. Guided reading spinner. Uh, KWL question answer uh, relationship. Yes, just uh, move uh, the slides. Five finger retailing. Uh, students can uh, draw uh, their hands, and each finger has a question. For example, who, uh, where, why, what, and how, and they answer uh, in groups or in pairs. I have also a Venn Venn uh, diagram. It is to compare and contrast between two definitions, two topics, students can give you the uh, differences and similarities between two things and this uh, enhance uh, analysis a lot. This is so great. They can uh, differentiate between two cities or two tenses according to your topic. You can use and uh, apply these activities the way you can and all of them are simple and interesting now think about uh, how can you adapt one of your textbook activities to enhance critical thinking this is uh, the last activity we have today in our session just uh, say something you have learned from se this session or something you can apply or adapt uh, in your lessons. And at the end, we have for each ref uh, reflection, you can also use for self-reflection for students uh, after the lesson or the, at the end of the lesson, you can ask the students to write what they have learned. Hit. We have hit, heat, heart, hand, to write what they have learned, then, uh, to write their feeling, how was the class? Uh, and to write to write about the class atmosphere. And uh, the last one to draw something about the lesson, something they cannot uh, forget about the lesson. This is a great way for making the students make reflection of the lesson. Uh, the last thing I want you just to uh, tell us what have uh, you learned? Something in you from this uh, session or something you are going to use or something you have like from our session. And you can use with, with your uh, students. Yes, you can write in the chat box or you can open your mic and talk. Yes. Yes, please. If anybody has any answer, what do you learn? She asks. Yes, doctor. Yes, yes please go ahead. Should I speak? Go ahead. Yeah, first, I, I just forgot to say happy feast. And thanks for this session. I think we have benefited from it. And the most important idea here is reflection itself. When we are reflective about ourselves and about the students in our classroom, then we can change to the better. For example, we can use some methods 
then yeah. I think that these methods are not appropriate for the time being, as you said, because we are in a global society now, we are in the digital world. So we can move on and uh, let our students move on with us to the, to the future, which is coming from any challenges ahead. So I think that reflection itself can lead us and our students to a better future for them and to enhance them to be uh, real creative and innovative and good communicators, inshallah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Sure. Thanks a lot for your participation. Thanks. A lot. Yes, thank you. And uh, I can add something else. Uh, for example, as you know, critical thinking is a very important skill from the 21st century skills. So educators ought to encourage this uh, thing inside their uh, students and the learners because they will prepare or they have to prepare them for being uh, leaders in their society, to be good citizens, for to build their society, for example, to build understanding between their society and the uh, uh, world around them, for example. And also it is a very important thing because here we encourage thinking behind thinking. It, uh, it uh, concerns with the metacognitive skills, the hot skills, for, for example. So it is a very crucial uh, thing. Thank you. Yes, one, one last thing I uh, want to add that uh, we can all use critical thinking and we all uh, need to uh, use critical thinking. It is something we may not know how to do at the moment. Uh, our students may not uh, know how to use, but once we uh, do know how to do it, uh, you will wonder how you could have lived your life without it. To find out if something, if someone is telling you the truth, one needs evidence and one needs to uh, criticize, to think about it, to think about uh, uh, the thing. Is it uh, true? Is it uh, false? Uh, and the best uh, place to use critical thinking skills is in our everyday life. Uh, when we go out to buy something, when we uh, someone tell, uh, tells uh, us something they claim is a fact, uh, what uh, what we hear in the news and on social media, uh, we need to use critical thinking, and we should uh, teach our students uh, to use it and uh, in their lives because critical thinking is a key to success in their lives and the, in their careers in the future. Critical think, uh, thinking uh, may, enables us to uh, make better decisions and uh, ensures uh, our opinions uh, and improves our relationships. They make our students better citizens. And we wish to make our students better citizens and uh, uh, better humans. <laughs> yes, of course. And we also, as teachers, should reflect also in our teaching. For example, uh, I can ask myself uh, if I had the chance to repeat the same lesson. How would uh, I present yeah. it? What are the positive points? What are the negative ones? Uh, what are the weaknesses, the strengths in uh, my, uh, for example, my presentation, my explanation, uh, etc. So always reflection is a very key point for success, as you say. Here, Mr. Al Hassan says all these steps are important to make our students use critical thinking, and then their learning will have positive results in their personal and social life. Uh, Aliyah adds very informative and interesting presentation. Totally agree with the presenter. Yes, CT skills uh, is need of the hour. Uh, Zuhrab adds thanks a lot, presenter. Thanks, Mrs. Shawkia. Thank you, Mrs. Mr. Zuhrab. Thank you, Ms. Aliyah. Thank you, Dr. Al-Nimrat, uh, uh, al nimrat real life situation. Uh, congratulations, uh, Mr. Mohammed Abbas, uh, for this certificate. Uh, yes, why is it not clear? 
Yes, thanks for sharing uh, useful information for our future future generation. Yes, please, anybody has uh, his certificate, he can display it here in the chat box. Yes, thank you. Yes, Mrs. Shokri, uh, could you please send them the presentation, uh, the PDF uh, presentation? Yes, I will. I will send it in my WhatsApp groups. Uh, so anybody okay. wants it, he can, he or she can take it and he can contact me, either me or Miss Noor. You can write also your uh, email if you want here in the chat box in order to contact you if they uh, don't contact me. Thank you, Dr. Mutia. Yes, sorry, I will see what is the problem. Yes, uh, the certificates are so clear. I will show you. Maybe the problem is with you. Look here. Can you see uh, the certificate? Yes. Yes, after a few, a few seconds it will appear. It is very clear. Yes. Uh, have you finished, uh, Dr. Noor? Yes, yes. Uh, yes I have. Thank uh, you. Thanks a lot yes. for you and yes, for you. all the attendees. Thank you, thanks Dr. Noor. It was really very helpful, very informative, and useful thanks. presentation. Uh, I guess that all attendees uh, got benefit from it. Uh, as they uh, show from uh, the chat box here. And I hope that you will join us more and more. Thank you another time. And also I won't forget to thank our participants from all over the world. Hope to see you again and to join us in the in our weekly sessions. And my greetings from Shawqi Hawara from Palestine, the president of the Arab Teachers English Association and hope to see you another time. Thank you a lot. Look at the uh, certificates here. They are clear. Someone says that it is not clear. No, it is so clear. I checked them before that. And here you can see samples here for Mr. Al Hassan, Dr. Mutia. Can you see them? Miss uh, Dr. Noor, can you see them? Yes, yes, they are clear. Yes, I can yes, see they, they are. are Yes, but uh, you you uh, can download it. Uh, it is as PDF. Then you can take it as a copy or as a photo. OK, thank you. Um, Dr. Noor also will have a certificate of appreciation mm -hmm. and I will send it to you. Thank you another time and you are a very distinguished presenter. Thank you. Thanks a lot for all the attendees. Thanks a lot for uh, Mrs. Shawqiya, the president of Arab English Teachers Association, for this uh, chance to be here to communicate with the great educators from all the, over the world. And uh, thanks for your great and blessed efforts. Wish you the best Thank and you. wish you and wish to join you in uh, other uh, sessions, inshallah. Inshallah, thank you. And I will thank uh, Dr. Omar for uh, uh, advising me to have you in my association. Of course. Thank you very of much. Of course, the, the big thanks go to Mr. Uh, Omar. Yes. yes. He is a very distinguished uh, uh, teacher. Thanks for you and for him yes. and, and for and all he, of you. Uh, he, he is all, uh, always a helpful uh, person. Yes. Yes, it is a reality. We thank him very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now you can leave if you have uh, some work and I will uh, stay for two minutes for those who want the form for certification. Just fill it correctly and you will have your certificate via the email that you write in the form immediately, inshallah. 
Thank you. Kulam and Tubhir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.